politics, society, and shouty people. These are the cornerstones of our community. Whether you're economically left-wing, you know, economically right-wing, a libertarian, an authoritarian, you know, we all look to the loud person. The loud person will tell us what to think. Even if the loud people are such a tiny, tiny portion of the people, the loud people will seem like huge, a huge deal. I go on Twitter. I do. It's something I shouldn't do, probably. I think it's quite unhealthy. But I do go on Twitter. And on Twitter right now, there seems to be a trending theme of this girl who I don't know the name of. All I know, all he know, two things. She like the gun, and she like the argue. She's American, in case you didn't figure that out. Uh, here she is walking in the rain in a in a in a white dress uh, with a, with an assault rifle, I assume. I don't know about guns. I don't know. Is it? I don't. Know. I I used to think automatic meant you held the trigger and it fired lots, but then people were like, no, you can have a semi-automatic with a bump stock. I don't know about guns. And she's got a hat that says, come and take it, you know, implying that she'll shoot if you come and take it, you know, at least I, I hope she is, otherwise it's just an offer for a very expensive piece of machinery. Maybe she's a philanthropist, maybe I'm on the wrong end, <laughs> maybe she's just trying to get rid of her gun, maybe she wants to give it to someone. <laughs> anyway, this lovely woman has said, now that I graduated from Kent State, I can finally arm myself on campus. I'm pretty sure open carry laws mean that you can carry a gun out in public and uh, you don't have to put it in a holster or like under your jacket or something. I'm not too sure. In case you can't can't tell. I am from the Queen's country, Britain, England, where they do not trust us with butter knives. Uh, this girl, she is very vocal in her opinions, you know, and good on her. You should be vocal in your opinions because then you may hear responses, you know. So it's good to be vocal in your opinion and it's good to tell people how you feel because then maybe you may receive a response that changes the way you think, changes the way your mind works, right? And that's what, that's what we're all aiming to do. We're all aiming to grow and change and become better people. I'm gonna eat a banana. This is not a gun. <laughs> UK government do not arrest. And I'll tell you what, she's well researched in her stuff about guns, right? I will be honest with you, I don't know anything about this girl. All I know is that she's loud, she likes to argue, and she appears on my timeline, and I find it very entertaining. Look on the bright side, guys. Not everything has to be a war, not everything has to be a challenge, not everything has to be a, a, a crusade of your opinion, you know. It's fun to argue. She has a lot of opinions on trans rights, you know, racial equality, things that uh, I, I don't don't really cross my mind too much. Maybe they should. Or, you know, listening to her and listening to how passionate she is about it, maybe it would be better in my in my line of thinking to just, you know, focus my attention onto these issues in the world. Now, I ask people on my Twitter, put that on the screen now, Jack, ka -chow! Uh, my Twitter, I ask them, hey, can you guys send me videos of that girl who likes to shout? So, I've just got a lot of videos for us to watch today. And, uh, she's gonna, she's, she's here to interview this guy and ask him a very serious question, right? What do you think about starting an initiative on campus here at UK to be more inclusive to women who have penises? And we can put urinals in the women's restroom for them. This is the only one I've seen. But my first response to this was when she offered that, I went, well, yeah, we have that. I, I go to a university where we have multi-gendered bathrooms. We don't have male and female bathrooms. So I'm, I'm very much used to seeing urinals and also, you know, feminine products in the toilets. And it doesn't really affect me. <laughs> urinals are gross, by the way. Don't, women, 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 if you have a penis or not, you don't want urinals. They're awful. That you do not I get them. <laughs> they are the worst thing invented. I don't know who came up with them. Some of them are just troughs. Some of them, Jack, get up a picture of a, like a trough urinal. It's like, imagine, you know, the aqueducts that the Romans built right now. Just fill them with piss. Fill them with piss, dude. Anyway, Sounds fantastic. let's see what, how he responds to that question. Yeah. Okay. What about, let's take it one step close, you know, more for inclusivity here on campus and put free tampons and pads in the men's restroom for men who have periods. Free tampon! Free tampons and pads, bloody hell. That sounds like a steal. You could you could sell those back to the people. Hello, it is me, right-wing libertarian. I'm gonna take all the free tampons and sell them back to the people. Mm -hmm. You'll see anything wrong with those statements? No. Mm -hmm. What men I do mean, you like know with periods? General use ones like in Willie T have pads. I use them pretty often, so. <laughs> Her face! Did you see her face? That isn't like 
like an accentuated reaction. That is genuine. That is an actual. Oh fuck. <laughs> what does she? Does she think he he is actually using them? What would I use tampons for if I had them? Everyone's saying she gets shut down here, but I don't think she does. She's obviously, it's obviously a leading question. She obviously wants him to be like angry at her because she wants a reaction. But in actuality, he's just a really chill guy. <laughs> he doesn't care. She's a little bit, mm, but he's just like, well, whatever, you know? Everything else that's been sent to me is new to me. So I'm looking forward to my judgment of this, right? So this next one, she's talking to a police officer. Let's see how she does here. I'm actually interested in this. You clearly don't like what they're up to. I don't okay? care what they're up then to. Then go away. Then, why, then why there's no reason to interview anyone. Yes, okay. there You're is. free to be about your business. Please don't get any more complaints. I don't know why you're making accusations night. about me. You're an officer. You're supposed I'm to know the truth. I'm not making any accusations other than what I believe it's is taking place It's supposed to be the truth. Here. here is what I believe is taking place. Because you're hanging the microphone in my face. You're yes. playing these silly games. Because you're an officer and you're supposed to uphold the law in the First Amendment. I am holding the law. Have you been handcuffed yet? Have you not been sitting here and with me? That's all you've done is sit and argue with me about is complaints that I received about you. I you said you, you got complaints, so then I attempted to help you. You chose not to ask for my help. Because you, are, you wanted to confiscate right? our property. You wanted me to investigate what you said was a crime. That's right. the only way it can be investigated. By taking not, property. Nope, it's not confiscated. I just want to know it's putting it into evidence so the detectives can take a look at it. The whole what situation is evidence. would happen? Yes, sir, it is. If that's what you would like the detectives to look at, that's what they'll look at. The whole camera is evidence. Okay. Are you a detective? Because maybe I've, I missed you I've, in police I've, school. I don't remember. I don't know why we have to be rude to each other. I'm like not this. being rude, but I'm done playing the semantic. Being... I don't know why we have to be rude to each other. Business. Suffice it to say, I would prefer not to hear any more complaints about your behavior tonight. So I can't interview people if I one person say, makes a complaint. That's not what I said. You I said did not say, I said people. be about your business. I received complaints I'm just about you. To I've get now talked to you about white. it. There is no black and white. You want me to do hypotheticals? I'm not going to do yes. it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. Everything is investigated individually. Just like you wanted your complaint investigated, I'd be glad to do that for you. You don't seem to want well, to take me up on that. We would have to give up our question. camera right now. Correct, because it's evidence. Okay. I believe what you're doing here right now is this will be great film for you, right? Arguing with the cop. Oh my God, you got him. No, That's what this is all about. My audience loves cops. That wouldn't okay. make sense. Then let's move on with our night. I so I can I'm go protect somebody that might actually need to be I protected. Will... Why can't you right? tell people that they can't just make right? you leave because of accusations? These are accusations against me. Did I make you me. leave? No. No, that's not what Did I'm I saying. Did I make you leave? No, I'm, t I'm trying to explain. Do you understand you people go to jail all the time based on accusations? And then it's up I to... I and I want to protect then, myself. Yes, good point. I want to protect then myself. Then I would leave everybody alone. Because they clearly don't like you. It, it sounds so like I you're have to leave because side I'm not taking anyone's is. side. I'm not taking anyone's well, side. you said leave, leave people alone. Oh yeah, I'm done with this. So, there's pride flags in the background. I'm guessing she's at some kind of LGBT friendly event. And she's doing things that aren't very LGBT friendly. Which, let me just say, if you're the sort of person that doesn't like LGBT people, I'm just gonna say a pride event is not somewhere you want to spend your time, alright? Everyone, the format is changing. The format of this video is changing. This is now Wilbur teaches you how to be happier in life. If you're sad in life, if you're not having a good time, right? Let's say you really, really hate pork, right? Or beef or chicken. Don't go to a grill. Don't go to a, a, a barbecue grill out, you know? If you want to go and purposefully trying to make people uncomfortable in order to film, it probably means you're a bit of a dick. The police officer was fine. She, her responses were fine. She doesn't, you know, she wasn't, she, she seemed to be playing a little bit of a straw man argument saying, oh, I don't want to be kicked out. And she, she wasn't being kicked out. She was just being told, look, don't, I don't want any more complaints, which is fine. His job's to keep the peace. So this one, we've got, um, we got two, two fine young, young adults being interviewed by this, uh, by this, um, person. <laughs> What if we live in a system? We what don't. If, we don't. We don't. So. Yeah, have you read the New Jim Crow? We don't. We don't live in a society. Like okay, so so they don't want to say the word racist. I don't know if that's for YouTube reasons or she just doesn't like the word. But they're using like they're using like things for to mean racist. So if the beep is confusing you, that's because she's using the word racist. Okay. Society. I see different colors of people okay, all around me, me every day. Just give me, give me the evidence. What? How do we not live in a society? <laughs> so why are thirteen percent of black and black people disenfranchised right now? Because is that half because, is because, that because thirteen black people deserve that. I did not say that. No, I don't think anybody inherently deserves something based on the color of their skin. Explain to me why thirteen percent of black people are disenfranchised in this country. So thirteen percent of the population is what makes up black people. Millions, millions of people are disenfranchised because of the. 
systems Tell me the this system. country is based on. Tell me the system. Mass incarceration, the prison industrial complex, the military industrial complex are all perpetuated on the notion that black and brown bodies are less than white bodies. Yeah, he knows his stuff. It's a debate. It was a good debate. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Again. Yeah, I've got a question for you. Can you tell me what the Australian Prime Minister is? Oh, fuck. Tony Abbott? Is Tony Abbott the Australian PM? Scott Mor- it's Scott Morrison! He was in the news, and I didn't remember Scott Morrison. Oh, he's the- he's the one who's being shouted at on the street. Stories. Nope. <laughs> because you know what? As an American, I honestly do not care about any other part of the world. Oh. This is the best country. This is the only place I'm worried about. Yeah, uh, yeah but you yeah. haven't gone to Australia, have you? No. Oh. Why do I need to? I'm in America. Because, because it's the highest living standard in the world. It's America <laughs> times <laughs> 10. Is it? Yeah. Oh <laughs> this is something I finally can air my opinion on. Oh, I love America. When I went to America, I had a wonderful time, can I say? It was brilliant. I stayed in San Diego, I met the nicest people I've met in my life. This was Southern California, which is, I've heard is a very, very nice part. Oh, when I went to America, I genuinely felt like it was one of the nicest places I've been. I've been to Sweden, I love Sweden. I've been to the Netherlands, and I love the Netherlands so much, you probably guys already know this. Uh, Germany was lovely, you know. The United States is brilliant. It's on par or better than those. So yeah, from my limited perspective, I'd say America's one of the best countries in the world, from what I've seen. So I want to- I would love to see Australia, I'd love to- it's got the highest standard of living in the world according to this man. I don't know how true that is. Something that really gets my go is these petty opinionated arguments about what country is the best in the world. Fuck me. Have you nothing better to speak about? You've got these Americans who are under the impression that their country is the best in the world for the exact reasons that non-Americans think it's the worst country in the world. And when they meet and they have to talk about those issues, right? It's just, it's not, it's never ending well. Mm. You guys have a, you guys have the right to bear arms there? Oh, there it is, the right to bear arms. She loves her guns, dude. No, Australia doesn't have the right to bear arms after the Port Arthur massacre, I believe, was it Tasmania, off the coast of Tasmania? I don't remember, they had a big massacre and then they went, all right, they got rid of the guns pretty much, pretty much, I'm pretty sure. Sorry? You guys have the right to bear arms yeah. there? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Under license, so it doesn't fall into the hands of nutcases and you have all of these high school Also, oh, you have gun control. Yes. <laughs> That's terrible. I don't want to live there. <laughs> we don't have guns like Americans. You we guys are... have guns. <laughs> yeah, we do, but they're controlled. Is that good? Yeah, absolutely it is. Why, why does my right to self-defense need to be controlled? Because we don't have nutcases. Oh. Am I a nutcase? No, but there's others out there that are. So why, why do I have to have a license to protect myself against a nutcase? Because in case it falls into the hands of wrong people. How does a law prevent that? Because we go through a very strict screening process. Why is that right? It's my right to self-defense. It's my property. Absolutely. Why is it correct for the government to have their hands in my self-defense? No, it's, it's, it's not a right. It's, it's a security so that innocent people... It is a right. Die. The right to self-defense. Everybody has it. See, the thing is, guns are not just defensive tools. They're, they're, so, so the argument's a little bit flawed there, I'd say. I get where she's coming from, I don't agree at all, but I get where she's coming from. I agree more with this Australian man that, yeah, we, there needs to be that kind of restriction. Is it? So your constitution might not have it written in there, but it's your right, even if you're in Australia, to defend yourself with whatever weapon you seem necessary. So let me answer this question, are you happy for innocent people to be killed? No, that's not what I said. That's not no, what the Second Amendment no, says. That's not what my that's right what to self-defense. The evidence. The Are you happy? The Do you? She's not. She's not. I want to hear his response to that. Let's Do you like up. innocent people to defend themselves? What about me? What about victims? Do you think they should have guns to, pr to protect themselves? No. Well, uh, there's laws for that as well, as there is for gun control. We're gonna go. <laughs> I feel like they both didn't quite hit the nail on the head really but i still think if you want a gun i don't quite agree with the uk i think if you want a gun you you, you should be able to go through the process you know do you think we gave the koalas guns maybe that's something we should get on australia get on it arm the koalas koamless <laughs> i want to see koalas with mgs oh is this next one this next one is from tiktok apparently do you usually just you don't care about kissing guys it's just uh, like okay nah, you? you clearly care a lot because it bothers you so but i Ooh. Handsome young man, kissing guys. Talking about kissing guys, maybe she's got a crush on him, dude. <laughs> maybe she's like, oh, do you care about kissing, kissing guys? And he's gonna go, no, but I care about kissing girls. And then they lean in and they make out and then they fuck. But I don't, it doesn't it bother bothers me. Yeah, I really don't care. 
Why does it bother me if I want well, you to do some, it? It's such an uncomfortable situation. You obviously no, you want it's uncomfortable. I don't want you to kiss my fiance. That's what would no, make we're me uncomfortable. About kissing a man in general, it clearly bothers you. It doesn't bother me. I just think it's gross. <laughs> 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 It doesn't bother me, I just think it's gross. At least if you're homophobic, at least just be like, yeah, <laughs> you know. Or oh, I'm not homophobic, but. But she's, by the sounds of it, she's probably not very happy. That's the thing I wanna know. I wanna speak to her. Iski, I wanna, Iski, this is a, a letter to you. Are you happy? And I mean that in like the objective way. Do you know who kills the most unborn black American babies every year? Yeah, I know that we're losing uh, massive amounts of black kids every day to police brutality. We're losing no, them every day to, to terminating their pregnancy, terminating their life in the world. Again, I think that when we begin to make decisions over other people's lives is where we go, is where we meet fault. Like the lives of the unborn. It's not, yeah, like, again, we should we should have more women's voices. Yours, yours is very important as well. I would never discount your voice. Um, but we need more women's voices when it comes to legislation. The fact that we have so many men, Hell yeah. and I assert that I'm a man with privilege in this country, because so many men are making choices and decisions about women's rights, what to do to their own bodies. And that's just, that's sad, period. And would you agree with me with that? Like, I should not come into your life. I don't care what, do. what gender they are. I don't care what sexuality they are. If they are willing to defend life, I'm all for it. It is not, it's not a gender thing. It's not a gender thing. It's recognizing that unborn lives are precious. They're innocent. And they're worth that one's really interesting. They both made good points. And yeah, I totally agree with that guy. Women need more fucking say in this shit. Yeah, I agree with him. Not so much with her, but I appreciate her point. But then again, it's not up to me, is it? Arm the babies. <laughs> Give the babies rifles too. What's your name, Major? Um, my name is Sophie. My, I'm engineering. Um... That's as far as I'll go in that. All right, well, I'm sure that they have a quota there for uh, women engineers and feminists. Hopefully you're as good as the guys. Whoa, where did this come from? <laughs> she just told you she's an engineer. <laughs> That's not even a good argument. <laughs> oh, I hope she comes back to that. I hope she fucking rips Usually that. you're not, I'm but- i not. Yeah, no, there's no way. No, oh, I, I don't think so. Statistically, genetically, usually women aren't really good in that field. No, no, not a shot. No way. Thank okay, you. have a good day. Her face there. It's like she, look at that. Zoom in on that, Jack. It's like she's, it's like she's pissed off. <laughs> it's like she went in, I think I'm starting to figure this out. Now. She just wants to make people angry. She goes in there with this pointless derision of, oh, I bet you're here on a quota, which is a horrible thing to say to anyone. We have a map here. And we're wondering if people can point to Iran <laughs> on the map. I'm going to say... Oh The glasses, they don't nope. have a lens in them. Uh, Why don't your glasses close. have a lens? <laughs> Did you say the glasses don't have lenses in them? Hold on. <laughs> no, they don't what have does lens. this matter? I don't know. <laughs> oh my god, she, he's just shot. <laughs> no, they don't what have lenses. What does this lens. matter? I don't know. This like, one? I don't understand. Don't make your nope. Uh, I don't understand why this matters. Two important points. One, why don't they know where Iran is? That's a huge country. Two, why do her glasses have lenses in them? A lot of people probably came onto this video hoping to have like, oh yeah, I want to see Will rip this person to shreds. I'm just enjoying this. I love the arguments, dude. And that's it. That's all the videos I've got. Well, that's, uh, I, I, I don't know what to say. I had a great time. I guess I'm not quite as liberal as her, which is mad. I think she's more right wing than me and she's a bit more libertarian than me. I think the main thing that changes, she's quite traditional, which I'm not, but I know, I know nothing about politics. Don't ever. Ask me to do politics, please. Uh, oh. oh, if you're thinking of posing someone in the comments that's just grumpy, don't do it. Just don't. Anyway, thank you for watching. Goodbye. Okay, they've gone. They've gone. Right, listen, listen. Truth is, love guns me. Love guns. Can't get enough. You ever seen a gun? Oh.